quick revision video on the alkylation and acylation reactions of benzene. So we'll start with some essentials. Alkylation of benzene is where you substitute a hydrogen atom in the benzene ring with an alkyl group. So there's three examples for you, methyl, ethyl and propyl. Acylation is the substitution of a hydrogen atom in benzene with an acyl group. So a couple of examples there, ethanoyl and propanoyl. Both reactions involve electrophilic substitution and I'm going to take a look at the mechanisms later on. Both reactions involve the use of the halogen carrier catalyst AlCl3. You'll see that in action in the mechanisms. Both reactions are sometimes referred to as Friedel-Crafts reactions because they are the names of the scientists who developed this technique. And finally, both reactions increase the number of carbon atoms in the structure and so they're very, very important in organic synthesis. So we'll look at each one in a bit more detail now. So alkylation first. So that's where you react benzene with a haloalkane, which obviously contains the relevant alkyl group in the presence of that AlCl3 catalyst. So the example I'm using in the video is for the production of ethyl benzene. So we want to put that ethyl group onto a benzene ring. How do we do that? We react benzene with CH3CH2Cl, chloroethane, and there's the product. So you can see that the hydrogen has gone off here and it's been replaced by this ethyl group. And notice it's a substitution reaction, so we also generate HCl as the other product. We'll quickly run through the mechanism. Remember we said it was electrophilic substitution. So the first step is the generation of the electrophile. So we take our haloalkane and react it with the AlCl3 catalyst and we generate these two ions here. Then we bring the benzene ring into play and a pair of electrons from the pi electron cloud are going to be attracted to that positively charged carbon and that's going to give us this unstable intermediate with its partial pi electron cloud and it stabilizes itself by losing this H as an H plus so a pair of electrons are going to come back in here and we show it like that. So that's going to give us the product and the H plus ion and then we need to just reform the catalyst so that's done by taking the H plus ion and the AlCl4 minus ion and reform that AlCl3 catalyst and there's that other product, the HCl. So we'll quickly look at acylation now. So that's where you react your benzene with an acyl chloride, again in the presence of that AlCl3 catalyst. So this time I'm going to produce phenyl ethanone. So there's the overall reaction. So we've got ethanoyl chloride reacting with benzene in the presence of AlCl3 and there's that product phenyl ethanone and HCl. So very similar to the other one we've taken the H of the benzene ring and replaced it with this acyl group CH3CO. So we'll look at the mechanism now again electrophilic substitution. So we've got to generate that electrophile first so in this case the electrophile looks like that. So then we bring the benzene ring into play and it's virtually the same as the one you've just seen. A pair of electrons from the pi electron cloud are attracted to that positively charged carbon. We get the unstable intermediate. A pair of electrons goes back in to reform the pi electron cloud and we lose the H as an H+. Plus. So there's that step there. And then we need to reform the catalyst just as before. 